Okay, the next screen I'd like to show you is the touch screen for sales orders. So this can be used by uh, cashiers or it can be used by your sales staff at a desk. What it allows you to do is enter orders very, very easily and very, very quickly in the system without using a keyboard or a mouse. It comes up initially with a list of salespeople, so you can just touch the salesperson that you want to log in as. And what you find here is a screen full of buttons which have been all configured for various different products. The buttons can be colored any color you like, and you can put any product on any row or column that you wish. And there's also a shift key, so if you touch that, it will show you the next set of items. So I'll go back to the front set of items. To sell something, you just simply touch it. So I'll go up here and I'll touch on butter, and it will put in one uh, package of butter and the price. If you want to do a quantity, you could say two and then follow that with the item. So two packages of hot dog buns, for example, and so on and so forth. So you can put various different items on your order. You can put them with different quantities. I'm just going to put a few on here. If you want to see what's on the order so far, you just touch anywhere up in this area where the products are, and it shows you how many, what they were, and what the prices are with your total and so on at the bottom. Uh, if the customer changes their mind, you can just reverse an item by touching it and touching the reverse button. And uh, we can close this preview screen. If you want to change the customer, same thing, just touch up here and up come all of your customers, and you can just pick one and make the order go in for that customer instead of the original one, and so on. So you can keep putting items in here until you're ready to finish off. Then we can hit the payment button, and up will come a little screen here showing you the total, and if they're paying it by cash, you can fill in the cash amount, and it will display the change, or if they're not paying it by cash, you can fill in the uh, amount on account, and then you can just hit OK, and that will go ahead and print. Another really useful feature in the sales order touchscreen is the ability to park orders. Let's say that a customer comes in, we choose them from the list, and we start putting in an order for them. So we've picked a customer, they order some of that, some of that, a couple of those, and then they decide to uh, stop and go browse some more, and another customer comes in. So what you can do is you can park that order and it will basically put the order on hold for a moment and allow you to put in another order. So in this case, let's say a cash customer's come in, they want to buy some of these products. I can go ahead and process their order. I can put in the payment for them. Uh, let's say it's $100, so there's $17.40 change. I'll say OK. That'll go ahead and print. And then the other customer's ready to come back and finish buying. So what I would do is I would go back up here, I would go look at that customer's list, and here I see that there's a parked order for them right there. So I just select that order like that, and then I'm right back in that order, and there are the three items that were on the order a moment ago.